All right, hello there and welcome to another Photoshop and design tutorial. And in this one, we're gonna be talking about mask in Photoshop. So there's a few different ways that you can do a mask in Photoshop. And the first one is called an image mask. And how you do it is you simply, you go up and you grab your selection tool. So I'll pick the rectangular marquee tool. And then you just draw out a selection right here. And then you go down to your layer. And then you click on this box right here. Notice now that a mask has been created, and this is simply a black and white image on top. Now you can make changes to this since it is simply a black and white image. All you have to do, if you take your brush, so you press B for your shortcut, and I'll make this smaller with my bracket keys. If I paint on this black, notice that it starts to hide the image. So black hides your image. I'm going to press Ctrl Z to undo that. But notice what would happen if I was to paint white on this. So I'll press X to switch to white, or you can just click in between your colors over here. Notice what would happen if I was to paint white. Notice that the white is now revealing the image that we masked out. So white is what reveals and black is what hides. So that's how you need to view your image mask. Now, notice here that we have this link in between our layer and our layer mask. This first one is the layer, and the second one is the layer mask. If I unselect this, and I grab my layer, and then if I try to move it, notice that I'm able to move the layer inside of the mask, like this. Or if I grab just the mask, I can move the mask. And if I wanna grab both of them at the same time, I just make sure that they are linked together and I can grab them both. So that's how you move your layers and your mask. Now another thing that I should mention too with the image mask is that if you try to scale it up, so control T, notice that it tries to scale up the entire thing. So that's something that you have to be aware of. So try to keep that in mind. And if you want to deselect your mask, all you have to do is go over here and press shift on your mask, not on your image, but on your mask. And now the mask is deselected. All right, so now we're gonna look at the path mask and I'm gonna zoom in a little bit here like this. Now with the path mask, there's two different ways you can do it. You can either do it with your pen tool or you can go to your shape tool right over here and select it. So I will select a ellipse tool. And the important thing with this is that you need to make sure that up here it is set to path. So if you want to do a mask, it has to be path. So I'm going to select this. Now if I draw out, notice that I have my shape here. And if I go over here and I press control and then click on this mask button over here again, notice that a gray mask has appeared. If I zoom in, I have my different vertices as well, or my different points on the end. Now what you can do with this is you can actually grab your direct selection tool, which is this arrow over here. And now we can actually grab our points. So we can grab it right here and we see they have these handles. Or we can simply click and drag over two handles and we can move the two handles like this. Press Ctrl Z to put that back. And we have the Bezier handles as well that we can adjust if we want. And now say we want to scale, we can simply just click all of our handles, press Command T, and now we can scale from where the mask is and not the entire image. So this is different from the black and white mask that we saw earlier. Now we can also go on our properties over here. And if you don't see this, just make sure you go up to window and then you have properties selected. And over here we can go down I'm going to press check to close that. And then in my properties, I have different options over here. I can play with the pathfinder. I can subtract this, which will show everything outside of it. I can intersect it and so on. So you'll have to come around and play with these things. I could play with the transform if I wanted to. So let's say we'll make this 300. Let's see what happens. This is what happens. I could also go up to this third one right here and play with the density. 
which is how strong your mask is. I could play with the feather. So these are some really cool tools that you have with a path mask. All right, so we're first gonna look here at how to create a selection mask and how to paint on it. So let's begin. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go ahead and create a new layer. You can also press Control Shift N to create a new layer. I already made one, so I press cancel. And then I will go over to my brush tool, press B, and I'll give it a color, say like this bluish right here. And then now notice if I paint, I'm able to paint on top of my layer, but this isn't what I want. I want to paint on top of my text. How can I do this? Well, if I press Command Z to undo that, and then if I have my layer selected, and then if I go to my text and I press Control on the text, notice that a selection has been made. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to click on my mask button. Notice that a mask has been made. And now if I want to go and paint on this, all I have to do is make sure that I have my actual layer selected, not the mask, the actual layer right here. And if I paint, the only thing that will be painted on is this text right here. So that's how you can work with mask and paint in that manner. Now you may run into some issues using this method though, because say if you wanted to change your text, right? You select your text here and then you press your T to open up your text options. And then say you bring the text to like a different font. So like this, now notice that it's all messed up. So how can we paint on top of our text in a different way? Well, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to delete this mask layer right here. And I'll delete this guy right there as well. And what I will do is I will actually just create a new layer like this. And I'm going to create something known as a clipping mask. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on my layer one right here. And then I'm going to hold alt. And now notice that this little arrow down appears and I click on it. And now this layer one is clipped to this mask text. And basically now this layer will only show up on the mask layer. So to show you guys this, I'm going to press B to bring up my brush tool. And then if I start painting, now notice that the paint only appears where my text is because this layer one is clipped that we are painting on. And if I want to change the text now to my text layer, so I'll press T to bring up my text tool. And then I go and select a different text. Now notice that the painting stays inside of the text and doesn't fall out. All right, now one more thing I wanted to add here is that you don't have to just stay with paint when it comes to clipping mask or selection mask. You could also add different effects. So for example, we have our text here and I'm going to create a clipping mask just like that. And I will put this solid in it, black solid. And then I'm going to double click on it. This brings up my blending options and I'm going to go down to gradient. Now notice that I have a nice gradient that has appeared. So you're not just stuck with paint. You can also do different effects when it comes to your selection mask and your clipping mask. Okay, so there it is. I hope you learned a lot in this video about mask and how to use them in Photoshop and that you will give it a try. Now, if you like this video and you want to learn more, be sure to subscribe below and to click on the bell and we will see you in the next tutorial. Until next time.